Hey, Shooter 2, what's up? <clears throat> Check what I got, dude. I got 10 uh, old tires. And now we got this little shooting tube now, and I'm going to, I'm just testing it. I've put the first shot through it, and I want you to kind of stand back over there and see what you think. See if it sounds any uh, quieter than it does out in the open. I'm going for the disc again. Hole. How'd it work? Awesome. All right, what we got is uh, some old tires here which has a, a narrow uh, passage. What we're doing is we're sticking the muzzle of our weapons in here to help um, tame down some of the muzzle blast so we won't get as many complaints. So we're gonna demonstrate to you with a nine millimeter. Um, I'm gonna fire one shot out in the open and then I'm gonna fire the other shot from inside the tube. Shot in the open. Fire from the tube. Cartridge. We'll be doing this for rifle and pistol both. On the other side here, way down here, we're going to have the chronograph sitting about here. Hey, shoot or shoot, check this out. Um, we're going to go ahead and shoot my uh, Walther. You've seen this thing before. It's a pre war model PP. It's really good shape. Anyway, it's subsonic, so we're going to take this little guy and shoot it down the um, little shooting tube here and see what subsonic ammunition sounds like going through this thing. Ready? I'm not going to even bother wearing hair and protecting myself. Uh, here we go. at all. Want to try it? <laughs> hey, Shooter 2, uh, we're really going to put this thing to the test right now. Here's a 308 we were shooting earlier at the disc. Uh, I'm going to try my 416 Remington Magnum and see if it'll help buffer this because I want to do some work with this later on down the road. This is going to be my new precision rifle. Not a 416 Barrett, but uh, this thing still will track the same as a 168 grain 308 Match King. So let's see if it'll deaden this a little bit. Um, the only real difference here is we got a a vicious muzzle break on here that's loud anyway. This thing does not make any friends at the range. So with 85 grains of ball C2 with a 325 grain bullet. This thing does not make any friends. It's a 325 gram Barnes X bullet doing 2750 feet a second. On the custom Weatherby. In you go. <laughs> Wow, there's a lot of backblast from this thing. <laughs> there's shit all over the rifle. Well, it cleaned out the tires real good. Do another one. Did it deaden it? No, it was loud as hell. I think, yeah. well, maybe the 308 is probably about the limit. Let's do one more, see what happens. I think the tires nearly broke the straps from the pressure. Guns 
a, the rifle's a mess. All the water and dirt and everything is coating the front half of the barrel. All right, fire in the hole. <laughs> there is a lot of back that <laughs> blew my head off. <laughs> I don't think the 460 is meant for this. <laughs>